all right so today we'll see how do we convert a csv data into a json data so i have a csv file that's basically a sample.csv file where we have a sample data of few people uh, informations are like id first name last name email gender ip address all right so what we want is we want this data to be converted into json so i will just show you what what we are expecting so this is the information we are expecting. We, this is the same data in JSON format. You can see this is our original data in CSV. This is our converted data in JSON format. So you can see it's well readable, well indented data in JSON format. All right. So let's see how do we convert it. So it's stored in the outdoor JSON file, but we will store the same information in sample.json. So let's see how we do it. All right. So let's just import the csv and json libraries again we are not using the pandas because just to make sure that okay it's for learning purpose so we'll we'll understand the root of it and not just slightly use a pandas and directly convert it okay so let's understand how internally it works okay so first what we'll do we have to read the csv file so with open we need to open the csv file and we need to go to file slash sample dot csv it's stored in the files directory as you can see it's stored in the file directory that's why we have to say read as f and now print f dot read let's just see are we able to read the data so all right yep so we are able to read our data in a well formatted form form okay so what we need is we need to convert this into csv first right uh, as of now our program doesn't know that okay our data is, is csv right so we need to convert it so we will use a csv library okay so our data is something like csv dot reader then pass the information and when we read our data it gets converted into array okay and it's wrapped in a csv reader object but internally it's an array because ultimately a csv file is nothing but an array okay so let's just say list because if we do not say it and if we want to see what's the data as of now so let's see it so as of now it's a csv reader object we are not able to see the information because this is a wrapper so let's just convert it into a list so that we can read our data easily and if now we see we, we have a list all right so from there from this part to this part you see this is our output of our file first row will store the information of uh, column names and all the other rows or all the other data in our list will store the information about our data all right so if you convert it into a list and see the first row we will see the column names all right so see we are able to see the column names but if we see the further rows like row number one we will see the data so so id is the column name one is the data all right so let's see how do we convert it to json okay so first we will have to store the information of our column names so i will just say columns are data and the first first row right and now we have to read the further rows so for that we will say for row in data from the first row to the other to the all the way down to all the data okay so we'll read it and let's see are we able to read it clearly we should be all right so we are able to read our data now we need to convert it to json all right so how do we do it let's see for that first we will have an all rows dict or a dictionary basically dictionaries are something uh, an alternative of json in python so we'll have this and now we will read each of the information in our row so for value in row let's just see what we are getting in value so okay so we can see that we are getting the information of each data so like this is one data this is the second data so we are getting the information of it right we need to make sure that we we, we convert it into a json format 
how do we do it we just say index because we need the column names as well so i'm just getting the index and i will say enumerate all right enumerate does nothing but give the values in the second or argument and the first argument will store the index all right so we'll have this and we'll say all rows and then index is equal to value and we also should have a main converted data that should be json data we can say we can name it anything we will have an array of it or a list and then we will append this all rows in, into our json data so we will say json data dot append all rows all right and let's see what we are getting as of now all right json data and if i just print it you can see okay we are getting our information all right but we do not we are not able to get the key names so how we will get it okay so for that we'll say columns and then index all right and if i just clear the screen and print it now so you are getting some information if you read it clearly it's exactly the data we require in this format all right but we what we have to do is we have to write this data in sample.json so how do we do it simple we just open another file with open file slash sample.json and we have to write this as f and what we need to do is f dot write all right what we need to write is our json data all right and let's see what we are getting now hmm? so if i just say right then it will say it should be string and not a list because again json data is a string how do we do it okay we use the json library for it and we say json dot dumps we dump our json data into string format all right and let's see if we are able to do it okay no error it means something should be written okay so so right now we can see the data is written and if i just try to format it manually you will be able to see our data all right so you can see how we are we are getting our data right but again it's not well formatted as we have in here how do we do it just simple way we have to indent our data so in dumps one more parameter is there which is called indent and let's say four indent by four spaces all right so now if we just run it again and see now we have the sample.json exactly what we had in out.json again you can play around with uh, values like you can say 6 or 10 maybe just to see the difference so, and now you'll see we have better indentation no actually this was a better indentation but again whatever we did if we write it as 10 it did the 10 species indentation 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all right so for each of the element it will have 10 indentations all right so you can play around with these things and in case you find any kind of trouble doing it you can again uh, ask me in the comments and again we have we have got our result so i will just end it over here and we'll see you the next time all right